Are you great in the eyes of God? Good morning, everyone. This is our reflection question for today. The movie Pearl Harbor tells the story of two friends, Rafe and Danny, who survived the attack on Pearl Harbor and entered World War II as fighter pilots. Rafe is bold and fearless. He is always looking to serve a greater cause, even if it means to go where danger is. Danny often tells him that he is too cocky and reckless. In training before the war, Rafe McCauley was one of America's top fighter pilots. When America initially held back from entering the war, Rafe volunteered to help the British in their fight against the Germans. When Rafe first arrived at the English airfield, he was greeted by the commander of the British squadron who showed him the plane he will fly. A messenger announced that another two British planes had just been shot down. The British Air Force was suffering heavy losses in the hands of the Germans. The commander turned to Rafe and asked, Are all Americans as anxious as you to get themselves killed, pilot officer? Rafe did not hesitate. I'm anxious to die, sir, he said. I'm anxious to matter. Today is the feast of St. James the Apostle, also known as James the Greater. He and his brother John were sons of Zebedee and were part of the Twelve Apostles of Jesus. They were of a slightly higher social class than the other fishermen chosen by Jesus, as their father had hired men under him to do the fishing. Along with Peter and Andrew, they were the first called by Jesus to follow him. They were privileged, together with Peter, to witness the transfiguration, to be there during Peter's mother-in-law's healing and in the raising of the daughter of the synagogue official. The three of them were called to watch and pray with Jesus in the Garden of Gethsemane. James and John were called by Jesus as sons of thunder for their impatience, impulsiveness, and stubbornness. For instance, when Jesus and the disciples were refused entry into Samaria on their way to Jerusalem, they volunteered to call down fire from heaven on the Samaritans. And in today's Gospel reading, while it was their mother who asked Jesus to put them in the most preferred places beside Jesus in his kingdom, in the version of Mark, they themselves put forth this request directly to Jesus. When the other apostles heard this request, they were shocked and angered. There would have probably been some confrontations and near fistfights, I reckon. And this is where Jesus came in to give them a valuable lesson that continues to resound to this day. Greatness for Jesus is not about power, fame, status, positions, and possessions. It is about looking after the well-being of others, loving them in an agape way, unconditional, being selfless and dying to self often, forbearing and forgiving according to the greatest commandment handed down by Jesus himself. Jesus exemplified it by his service to humankind, emptying himself to carry out the mission of love his own father had tasked him to do. Mocked, persecuted, crucified, he went through it all. Greatness personified indeed. Eventually, James would understand that this is the way of Jesus. James became the first to be martyred and the only one among the apostles whose death was recorded in the New Testament. In my own lifetime, I have seen a lot of priests do their work quietly and faithfully. Some were great homilists, delivering stirring sermons while others spoke boringly and in long-winding fashion. Some served in big cathedrals, while others were assigned to small parishes in the boondocks. Some studied in Rome, but many have not gone out of the country at all. Some were the silent type, while others were temperamental and were firebrands. All of them were not canonized as saints in the mold of St. Maximilian Kolbe, St. John Marie Vianney, or St. Pope John Paul II. But they all showed obedience, poverty of spirit, and love for their vocation and the people they were asked to shepherd. God would have made them saints anyway without the earthly titles. Jesus did not snuff out the greatness that all his disciples were aiming for. He showed it in a different way, by loving and serving others. His way to the top is to do the dirty work at the bottom, doing it not to please man and become famous, but in service to man, to please God. Indeed, what matters in heaven is for us to matter to people we encounter in life, especially those who cannot repay us for our service to them.
Let us pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, help me to realize what greatness is, and that is to follow faithfully your commandment of love. This I pray in Jesus' holy and mighty name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless your families, brothers and sisters. God bless our Catholic faith and couples for Christ.